on. Anyway, let's let's yeah. All right. Is she in any fit state want. to speak at the moment? Um, she hasn't said anything. Not really. Just... She seems to be getting worse in this. Oh no! She travel she should back. do something about that. Let's go to a hospital. Would be pretty difficult for her. Perhaps some. Um, maybe maybe they'll fall in love and we'll get like a. Back Sweet. To the future title. Old, this is an old boy, or whatever. Isn't it no. though? That's oh, they're anyway. releasing that. Did I oh, say in 1969? No, hmm? but that was heavily. I'm just being a jerk. I'm gonna start shut up now. <laughs> uh, right, did you do anything? We need to go to a hospital. My hand hurts. <laughs> also, I heard. Somebody might die. I heard. Yeah, also him. <laughs> Guys, you should have done, that, before, you have done that before you went back in time. We didn't no, my, it, voice it my was head. the smoking of the weed I did that gave me the realization that I was actually hurt and need help. <laughs> Despite that oh. being, having been the case for like the whole game, practically. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what's around. Let's leave this shack. Um, no, this is a love shack. No, this is not. Groovy, but, I mean, baby. unless you want to make it into a love shack, <laughs> um, that's contingent on our own. Right, upon thing. exiting um, the building, you're definitely not in England. You're pretty sure England, well, London at least, didn't look like a dry, almost barren, you know, just sort of tufts of weed uh, coming out of a largely grey-brown landscape. Uh, in 1969, I mean, sure you know, you know things were Have we not past. fucked up the time space continuum? Or do we in that case, dude, they send us to Zimbabwe, man. A, good luck finding a free hospital. <laughs> if you're in America um, or China, there isn't much. Uh, see, what? there's a from where you are, you can see basically a railway, um, sort of 200 meters in the distance. And if you can make me perception rolls, please, just uh, perception plus alertness. Everybody. Is that uh, everybody? Difficulty eight. Perception. Should um, I do that? No, Jim, you shouldn't. Whoa. Difficulty eight. Hmm. Why Actually, so high? Uh, Jim, can you make me a uh, perception plus awareness? Great. Difficulty eight. Three I successes. Su I got one success. Uh. Two successes. Is it, is it analytical? Uh, it is not. Although okay, you might be able to judge. Uh, Two fat ladies. You see, um, in the distance to the east, uh, a small uh, dust cloud rising on the horizon. Uh, using your analytical prowess, you assume uh, that something is moving in your general direction from that way. Uh, either large enough or fast enough to throw up dust. Um. She I just like love how all three our actions actually describe in chronological order what we're doing. Looking around, what's that? Looking. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, it's not coming from the train track, by the way. The train track runs uh, north to south. Oh. Um. Can we get some, some, some sort of monster? Um, um, what's that? Can can are there the any signs Shush. along the train track so we can oh. see in what country we are? Uh. There are not. I'm, so I'm hoping there's... someone, maybe with correspondence magic, might do some magic. Oh. To work out where I they have are. That. Uh, but in the meantime, Joe, no. if you want to <laughs> try and work out the rough speed of the vehicle. Or, um, horses or, or whatever. Vehicle. Oh. Shit! Give him the game away. I'm gonna put him <laughs> <on> the <dirt laughs> couch. Well, if I saw a dust cloud. Um... <laughs> Yeah. If it looked like it's coming really fast and it was dangerous, I'd suggest we get back into the shack. But if it was just all oh, something throwing up a bit of dust, I wouldn't be scared at all. Uh, let's put some character sheet in this book. There we go. Could you roll me uh, intelligence plus uh oh yeah yeah oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, actually, I'm just gonna say it's a raw intelligence roll. Uh, but me, you can reroll tens if you've got you analytical. Should, yeah, you if you're trying to basically me... work out the speed and the rough. Um, you should let me do that. I have take five for intelligence. The to get to you. And difficulty what? Uh, I'm gonna call that difficulty eight. It's quite a hard thing to do without any, you know, tools. Well, 
One success. Uh, hold on. I'm just gonna quickly check something. God damn it! Internet's so slow today. It's making it dramatic. Sorry, I'm getting a. <laughs> Uh, let's call that 20 meters above sea level. Oh. Uh, right. Are you using Google Maps or something? <laughs> no, I, I'm doing a distance to the horizon calculator. Oh, right. <clears throat> um, basically, you watch the vehicle for a short amount of time. Uh, you're trying to judge, basically, the size of the dust cloud between the amount of time it takes. Um, and you know that how far, roughly, you are from the horizon. You're judging the vehicle will be uh, next to you in about half an hour. Considering the speed at which the dust cloud is expanding, that's a slow move. Impressive. Because Joe's a smart. Okay, I am using my special powers of magical phone magic How? to work out where the fuck we are. How? But, so I turn on the old shitted together phone with a yeah. strapped onto a radio, um, and then I tune in to the app that says Google Maps on it. <laughs> uh, and then I uh, fool it with the powers of my mind, that thinking it's still got like satellites that it can look at, and it gives me the right thing. Do you have time magic as well? That's... Yep. Oh yeah, right. I make it think that it's the modern day, and it, it has the satellites that it can look at. There you go. Uh, right, so that's going to be, let's call that time three. Yep, got that. Difficulty uh -oh. using old thing, difficulty seven, and it's quick casting, difficulty eight. Okay, that's uh, time. Arrogate plus technology. Oh, right, okay, so that's five. Difficulty eight. No. Hmm. Botch twice. Well, fuck. Uh, you are in Saudi Arabia. According to that thing, okay, great. And they all believe it, presumably. Yes, the yeah. we can't, we can't know that that's not true. <laughs> hey guys, who knows Arabic? Gogs can understand it. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, that will come in useful, and there's no way that it won't. <laughs> What's going on in Saudi Arabia in 1969? Not very much, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Not that it actually matters, because that's not, not where, where we are. You are. <laughs> hey, uh, are any of you? Oh yeah, Jim. What was the result of your roll? Uh, um, where is it? What is this? One six. That's the wrong one. One success. Two successes. Two successes. Uh, two successes. Uh, you can feel. Uh, basically, there is a large mass of emotional energy. Uh, about 60 kilometers to the east of you. Ooh. Some protest. You're only getting like a hint. How about you step out of, of that it. stupid spirit world of yours, Jim? Because no. you'll Knowing all be mean Knowing what you know, me. there's either a very dramatic thing happening over there, or there are lots of people going about their daily business in that direction, and oh, right. there aren't many people anywhere else nearby. Let's okay. go directly in the opposite of that direction, because we don't know. You don't know here. about it. Yeah, so let's go exactly in the opposite direction. Well, <laughs> so I don't spend the entire game just not interacting with you. <laughs> He's that guardian angel. <laughs> He's watching over us, knocking guns out of people's hands. I don't want to leave the spirit world. <laughs> failing I don't to leave do the so. spirit world yet because I haven't got, I haven't been enlightened yet. I haven't got a stellar <laughs> right. I'm going to stay here until I achieve enlightenment. It may only take a few millenniums. Find a flashlight, I want, Jim. I wanted to try and meditate whilst I was in the van to <laughs> flashlight the light or a flashlight. Fl a flashlight. Machine, so I it just wasn't Not a flashlight. Uh, oh. <laughs> I'm waking enlightenment. I'm waiting for an opportunity to uh, stop following you guys uh, doing interesting right, things. Is anyone going to, to do or attempt anything else before I basically skip forward to when this guy arrives and something interesting happens? Or when? I wanna. Saudi to, I think I am. Um, sadly. <laughs> You Can I do like something with my... Strong enough to get a precise location. Oh, wow. Okay. Very zoomed out. 
But can't I uh, do something with track. my intelligence and wits and perception to find out if VNES phone is right at least? Like, dude, this can't be mm -hmm. right. This Why can't be Saudi Arabia. No, but just shit, something around me just saying, <laughs> dude, this can't be Saudi Arabia. And it's made of a radio. You're so, in America. Hey, You're I'll double crap. check, man. <laughs> Who's American? Uh, Nash's. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I thought you were Dutch. Can you tell by the American name? No, no, Nash's character. No, no, but. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what? I just thought he hadn't made the character. Yeah, but you wanted to say something, uh, Jack. Person tree. No, I, I'm saying no. You're American, so your geography isn't good. That is <laughs> totally totally that despicable most stereotype. Looks like All right, Arabia. guys, I mean, this must be Saudi Arabia. It's bloody miserable. <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> Although you're not sure if Saudi Arabia has trains. It does in the sixties. Uh, speaking out of character, definitely. Um. <laughs> uh, so once again, anyone doing anything or? I can't think of anything else. Ahead. Yep, let's go to the next event. About twenty-five minutes later, uh, you can see uh, basically as you just watch this thing come from the horizon. <laughs> uh, it's just a single jeep. Uh, it's pulling up to you, it's heading basically straight for you. Uh, as it gets even closer, you can see that there's a single uh, man riding in the jeep. Assalamu alaikum. The jeep doesn't have any. <laughs> uh, no, uh, he appears to be uh, what you would call a stereotypical British gentleman. Look oh, okay. at his license plate. Look at his license plate. Yeah, or at least um, a stereotypical. British gentleman wearing clothes as if he wasn't in Britain. What? So, so he's, he's got wearing, like, like car keys hats. and a pith helmet. Yeah, yeah, almost definitely. <laughs> <laughs> like a colonial sort of type. Uh, well, actually, no, 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 not khaki, but like um, a white, a white suit. Uh, okay. Thin cotton. So okay, he's not but... exploring, but he's used to living somewhere hotter Port. than. Yeah. I still want to know like where we Saudi are. So Arabia. what's his um, license plate? Where is the uh, car he from? He doesn't have license plates on. Oh, oh my god. I'm calling the police. <laughs> <laughs> on your radio, uh, if I just yeah. tune into the police frequency or whatever it. I am. Hey guys! The Saudi Arabian no. police. Okay. So I'm sure <laughs> I can only say hello, uh, I don't know how to say anything else. Hmm. Uh, well, if you don't do anything to this, uh, he stops the car, uh, the jeep, about 10 meters behind you. Uh, stands up, uh, pulls from his inner jacket pocket, uh, pocket watch, pops open, looks at it, looks at you, frowns, looks back at the pocket watch, uh, he goes, I wasn't informed of any more coming through now. Who are you and what do you want? Well, sir, who are you? Before we answer that question. Who are I you? I am Sir Reginald... Billy Bottom? <laughs> no, not Dilly Bottom, thank you very much. <laughs> How do you know? I'm quite an important kind I can't remember this Reginald's second name. So that's uh, not friendly. Sarchi. There we go. That's okay. Good. Yeah. Why are we in Saudi Arabia? This wasn't where we left. Saudi Arabia? Yeah. Think you're a bit off course, my boys. Uh, you are in Mancuria. Oh, uh, northeast to be precise, uh, about uh, just on the Russian border. Wow! Now, what are we doing? You here? Can oh, what are you doing? Candidates Why are we just outside the period of history that my history course, that my Russian history course has taken? <laughs> Damn it! Uh, is, it, is it your Russian history course slightly in the past or slightly in the future? Slightly in the past, past. from a yeah. to communism. Well, oh. Now you'll get what? Now you'll get to find out what happened. Wait a minute, 1969. Yeah, this isn't. That's like way outside Spoilers the boundaries of that. Spoilers for your history oh. twenty years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, spoilers. I'll tell you what happens. Um, <laughs> Stalin is dead. Spoilers. Anyway, really? I repeat. Who are you? What are you doing here? We We've are the fuck up boys. Somebody. Don't say that, Nash. That's rude. <laughs> so, but that's who we are. The fuck up boys. <laughs> <laughs> when did we agree on this? I don't know. Uh, I don't that's what I call the name of your game. Is it? <laughs> yeah. 
because okay. <laughs> So it's not yeah. like an official gang name or anything. No, no we still have to come up with that. The name for our cabal. But you need a gang name. And gang signs. No. We are the magician of five. What? <laughs> well put. There are only four of you at the moment. <laughs> yeah, we no, had wait, we had a there, fifth, but he d he Lee's died there, of sadly. Course, I forgot about that. He's been replaced. He he died sadly. So. Lee's the fifth. I was being by a lady. Silly. <laughs> okay, but yeah, yeah. Let's continue. Basically, we've come to save. What was he called again? Somebody. Buyin. Sorry, that's good. That's the fight. guy. Mm. Buyin. Yeah, Buyin. Mm. And uh, on whose authority? On that geezer. What was he? We didn't get his name. He just sent us here. Agent it's, says. Uh, it's been a it's been a long trip. Um, we tried to punch him. He tried to shoot a friend of ours. Yeah. And then now we're here. <laughs> Forty years. <laughs> it took you to get though. Um. I'm afraid if you don't present me with anything credible, I'll just have to leave you here to die. Well, that's die? not very nice, is it? Well, let's let's hand over the paperwork. Wait a minute. Yeah. I could punch him, and then we'll steal it. <laughs> 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 No, let's hand over the dossier. Let's yeah. hand over the dossier. He's seen something similar before. So, Ch look at our paperwork, might, sir. This, this might explain. Uh, all right, he grabs the dossier. Uh, he like wiggles his glasses as he opens it and murmurs through it. That's how we cast. This is magic. most irregular. <laughs> it was only four hours ago when the last lot came past, and they're already the rescinding lot? the order. Uh, the men who I assume you are here to stop. Ah, oh, bloody flipping uh, The five agents who were uh, who a termination order for Mr. Buyin. <sighs> that means they got... Where, where did go? you send them? Oh. Where where did they go? Uh, I gave them a lift to the ghost market. Uh, Give last us known places. a lift, Follow please. Follow that lift, please. Uh, absolutely. Um, if you are acting on the authority of who I think you are... Uh, acting upon, then it is my duty to serve you. Uh, whose authority is that again? Don't say that, you idiot. <laughs> yeah. Richard McMahon, Ma whatever his name was. Man McFace. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Agent McFace. Something like that. Imagine old face. Uh. <laughs> I'm going to assume you didn't say that because that's really dumb. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and would make this basically stool. <laughs> we would get left to die. Yeah. That's it. I, I, I thought something like that out loud but didn't say it <laughs> hard enough for him to hear. <laughs> All right. Popping in that and that, so I'll give you a left and point in the right direction. Get in the van. Jolly well. Get in the time van. Um. <laughs> All right, uh, Jim, what do you do? I suppose I get in the time van. T I mean the van too. <laughs> <laughs> the spirit van. <version. laughs> Jeep this time. Right, but um, I really should make use of the fact that I'm in the spirit world. <laughs> you're just, you're, you just, like, at some point, you'll just like constantly you're just meditating. So, sorry. What did you right. say, Paul? I, I assume at some point you'll like dramatically pop back into the material realm. But then there wouldn't have do been any point in me coming. I want to, I want to <laughs> meditate at some point and try to talk to souls of the long dead, but I haven't found a chance to yet because the others keep. Going doing away in cars and well, we you can't expect us so to can stop. Now. Well, once you yeah, end exactly. up like waiting for something, I'll uh, have have a little quick cheeky meditate. We already did whilst that I'm like, twice though, didn't we? <laughs> Just From get in the jeep and meditate while All we're right. in the jeep. If it's not a long journey, that was Does what that I wanted to do when you went sense, to the or? time machine. That was what I wanted to do when you went to the time machine, but I assumed but the time machine was too close. No, when you went from the you went, yeah, they did walk about 10 meters. Because, yeah. Yeah. Well, so yeah, I'll try and meditate in the jeep and um, call upon past souls to talk to them directly. Ah. <laughs> hate your character. Uh, roll. <laughs> roll your past lives. Difficulty 7. Uh, okay. What does the avatar background do again? Uh, let's use still magical power. Who from? Oh, store! 
not steel. Store, yeah. Not steel. <laughs> okay, one success. Uh, one success. Uh, you, uh, meditating as the vehicle moves along, uh, the first person to come to your mind is a elderly Chinese man, uh, who's stereotypically bearded. <laughs> He's wearing sort of clean white robes, uh, and he babbles something to you in Chinese. Can't uh, his you... soul talk to me? Uh, you do feel uh, that although you don't understand anything he's saying uh, directly, uh, you he get, you feel as though he imparts some knowledge of the lay of the land to you. Uh, you realise that where you're heading is a place of great danger. Uh, the ghost market, he informs you, is... Uh, a place where brigands uh, basically come to sell their wares, plan jobs, uh, and live outside of the law. It's where outlaws gather. Hence being outside of the law. A wretched hive of scum and villainy. It is a wretched <laughs> hive of scum and villainy. Uh, and that's what you get from him. Okay. Thanks, uh, Chinese man. Right. See ya. Uh, does anyone have any questions for the man who's driving you? Otherwise he'll just... Uh, yammer so... on about... How Google much of a head things. start are these motherfuckers got on us? Um, by the time we get there, uh, I guess about six hours. Good lord. Um, do they have, like, guns and stuff? Oh, Weapons. God, yeah. Oh, yeah, loads yeah. of guns. <laughs> Lots of guns. <laughs> Bazookas, um, lasers. Most guns you've ever seen! I mean... I'm guns gonna have to be very lucky there is. by punching again. <laughs> <laughs> Their firearms were... Far more it's technologically impressive than anything I've seen. But oh. I guess that's to be expected. And I've seen a fair few guns in my time. You, you should know what I mean? mean. You shouldn't need to fight them though, because you have. You shouldn't need to hit fight them though, because you have permission from uh, the agent. Yeah, we we'll just hand them the paperwork again. It's been the change of plans, lads. You're off. Go home. <laughs> Does he know where they went after he dropped them off? Uh, I imagine they went uh, to follow up on some of the contacts. Uh, that are in the dossier. Are they in our dossier. Okay, cool. They are in the dossier. Um, I pointed them in the direction of the man Boo Yin uses as a fence. Take us there. Wait a minute. This man is a criminal? Question mark, exclamation mark. Uh, yes, Boo Yin is a... It's a low-tier criminal. I so see. The lead... Of the ghost market. The Lee that's with them knows nothing about this person because she didn't grow there up. There is with no him. Lee, yet. Yeah, there is no Lee. Spoon. Lee doesn't exist. Yeah. What? Well, Lee hasn't been born. Yeah. But yeah but... Oh, oh, you mean also oh, the Lee that's with the group. yeah us, Ali. Yeah. She not past Lee. She was never born, as far as time is concerned, wasn't she? Yeah. No, she's born. Oh, so this is the one who did meet her parents then. Yeah, what? Because you were not... saying that. The problem was that, in as far as the universe was concerned, she didn't exist in some ways, and that was why you had to kill her in the past. She wouldn't the exist in some ways. Can we, um, um, if they succeed the guy, in the mission, yeah, if he can uh, make sure that Lee gets to a hospital when we leave, uh, I will provide as much medical care as I am able. Sadly, the nearest province, uh, nearest hospital, is in the provincial capital. Just so either you leave it to my knowledge, which is a bit shaky, but I've served in some conflicts and I should be able to keep her well enough. Uh, Just or make you sure could she doesn't die. Pass on to one of the local doctors. I wouldn't re recommend that. They're still rather. Oh, what's the word? Barbaric. Uh, superstitious. Well. I would say. They're using about some of their medicine, medical... not words of Western medicine. Absolutely. They don't like witches. I don't think incense will cure her of whatever <laughs> ails her. Just make sure she doesn't die. A please. gunshot wound to the Sir. shoulder. A gunshot wound to well, the shoulder. Well, you should be an expert. And some that. kind what of your, uh, demonic expertise. fever. Oh yeah, I forgot well, about not that. Not demonic, but because <laughs> he doesn't believe in that guff. Uh, Alright, is there anything else you guys want to talk about before he drops you? No? Good. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right, um, you pull up to, uh, basically you see it rise up uh, on the horizon as you get closer. You can see it in more detail. A large sprawling mass of um, shanties and 
dilapidated properties with walkways and gangplanks between them. Uh, you know, stairs leading up to second floors that were built upon first floors. Uh, places fancy. rife with people you... No, not fancy at all. No. Um, <laughs> the places busy with people moving around large carts full of goods, uh, various uh, animals litter the streets, mostly chickens and goats. I love chickens and um, goats. Nobody looks particularly happy to be there. Uh, can people roll me perception plus streetwise? Uh, difficulty, difficulty six, six if you've got any. Cool. And difficulty six if you don't. Ooh, six dice, get in there. Well, you're streetwise, or you're just perceptive? Two perception streetwise and streetwise. four perceptive. Yeah. I've got exactly the same. Hell yeah. Should be more streetwise than me. Homeless yeah, boy. but that's perceptive. Oh. <laughs> See how this works. No. Difficulty six, do you say? Yep. Um, I got three ones. Um, so that's a failure. Holy shit! Mm. Three successes. You are just happy at all the bright colours. <laughs> well, it's a wonderful looking place. I got know, three successes. Of, like, Beautiful lanterns and you know bright, enigmatic people and energetic people like that as well. You got three successes, Fee. Mm -hmm. I like energetic people. Yep. Uh, Fee, on the other hand, uh, notices basically dotted among the crowds at most of the sort of intersections or walking among the stalls. Uh, there seem to be people who aren't really moving uh, around but are watching the proceedings. Uh, go on. Uh, and you notice the sort of uh, bulge of hidden armaments under most of their clothes. Ruh -roh. You're guessing these are the guys who basically are sort of in charge in the area. Excuse me, your hidden arm. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing with that. You're just trying to make it <laughs> some sort of <laughs> something. Joke. There was something there, you know? But, uh, Have you got a hidden argument? No, or are you, Is that a are hidden you argument in your pocket, or are you just pleased to see me? Yeah. Right. That's really that. People are probably okay, going to be rather suspicious of you. I mean, I've always stuck out here, but you'll be the eighth new well, face in town. Sixth to eighth set of new faces in town asking questions. So, don't blame me if people are guarded. Uh, I'll take Lee. Uh, to my property and look after there. Uh, you'll want to head uh, down that alleyway, take the first left, the second right, and then the last left after that. Uh, oh, Jesus. That will lead you to the Green Talon Bar, uh, where I'm reliably informed uh, Booyah and drinks when he's not on the job, and where he meets his fence. Uh, okay. Is apparently a small man. Um, Almost always wearing second-hand uh, motorcycle gear. Looks too big on him. Oh. Cool. Let's move. His fence. All right. Uh, Jim, do you follow them? So Lee's going off with the man to the hospital instead of with them. Well, not to the hospital. To Lee. Uh, well, to going the guy's to somewhere. Apartment. Lee. Well, property, lodgings. That seems dangerous. No, but he what knows that the. Not as dangerous as this. taking her with us. But why I mean, you did that go with her, surely? I mean, you think... Well, I'm going to follow her in the spirit world rather than follow the others. It's to follow her? Uh, okay, um, let's do a quick break. Jim's in love. Ooh. Scoop over to the line. Order she's more the one who's the most in danger. But she's um, also the one who might doom the rest of eternity. He carries, uh, basically, he, he carries her uh, in his arms, because she's basically unconscious, uh, up a outside set of stairs to a second floor uh, room. Uh, you feel a slight resistance uh, as you try to follow through the door. Nothing you can't really overcome. Uh, it's almost as if the doorway... It's like you're moving through water or custard, uh, trying to get into his apartment, but it's not too hard for you to do. Watery custard. Uh, 
all of the vibrant sort of energy uh, of the outside world uh, just disappears as soon as you cross this threshold. Uh, it feels a lot like being in the facility uh, back in Ooh. the future present. But then now... Um, he lays her uh, upon the single bed in the room uh, and goes to a cupboard uh, starts taking out some medical tools and begins to poke around in her shoulder uh, that's what he does do you have anything to say about that? he appears to be talking uh, and that's something I can tell from the spirit world uh, how's her you can see a silhouette how's her li our little wisp thing was fading in and out sort of was yeah. fading in different Flaring ways to the others is it still doing that? Yep. Absolutely. Quite strongly. Has it got any better? Oh, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. I'll the fades stay here, are then. darker, the flashes are brighter. Uh, yeah, right. I better stay here, because you might die and come to the spirit um, world and I'll need to talk to her. And Mark. Yes! Fight! Do it! Um, right. Uh, following the uh, Reginald's uh, directions through the market, uh, you soon uh, see the green talon uh, or what you assume is the green talon it's a bright it's like festooned with green fucking things uh, <laughs> not, like duvet covers but not duvet covers uh, like, like a cloth sort of like hangings from the wall to keep it from the sheet. sun yeah uh, it definitely looks like a bar uh, but before you step out of the alleyway uh, onto the street at which the bar is on uh, two men uh, two large for Chinese people uh, step out in front of you and you feel the presence of some men uh, behind you uh, one of them uh, I look down at the guy name. and I ask him what he wants Cot6 knows what it says doesn't he with his language skills yeah do you <laughs> what did he just say I <laughs> Jack <laughs> 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 Uh, Cogs would have to do some magic to understand Chinese. Oh god. It's probably used. Write some runes on it. <laughs> on what? On his speech. <laughs> Come I'm right. Oh. I record it. Um, With what? Does it sound like a Fienya power? Chant. <laughs> Chant some things at the same time as the thing recording's playing. Yeah. What? <laughs> Uh, you don't understand him. He seems to be getting agitated. Oh. Think of Do more magic. Do speak English -y. I know, he's Mate. crazy. Um, presumably I can spread it out phonetically and I'll write that on a piece of paper and then that will Why be enough. Why are you enough. trying to do it in the, like, that's writing still too, way? That's too shit. Uh, um. Think. Yours is, like, stereotypical gothy magic, right? Yeah. Yeah. Can't you just like carve a pentagram into your arm? <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> Something like that. Think one step further of what you've just done. I just need a bit more. I, I carve. <sighs> uh, even something. Uh, like, you carve the word Chinese in your arm. Done. Um, <laughs> oh, and then you know, just take a match, set it alight, so the ashes billow into the air, um, and you inhale these ashes, and that gives you a sense of. Like, just something a bit more. That's all you need. Do that. I'll inhale some ashes. <laughs> Magic ashes. You're all terrible at mage. Alright. Um, yeah. Roll me Arate plus Occult. Difficulty... A million. Six. And I think in, in context in me's, my case, we are our characters are based on sort of an already established form of fake magic, i.e. religion and gothism. So we're, At which point right, it's easier for you to describe your stuff. magic. That's all religion is, fake magic. <laughs> yeah. But Buddhists, oh, uh, Christians might believe that they are do well, a form of magic by art, by I praying. I don't think magic meditating. would be what they would okay, describe magic, as. Well, it's magic in this world. And he believes that he's praying to make the stuff happen. But I mean, really it's him doing magic. That isn't much step of a step higher narratively or descriptively than I do a spell. If that makes sense. God does all the work, though. 
The more the descriptions you give, the more interesting the game is. And the more I Even have to work with when describing the results of your actions. Oh, I suppose, yeah. That makes sense. Uh, anyway, have you rolled cock six? Yeah. Three, um, and that many successes. Four successes. Beautiful. Four successes. Um, I'm quite good at the occult yeah. arrow <laughs> Yeah. It's almost like well, that's what your magic is. Uh, <laughs> like you passive aggressive. Yeah, passive. You get, yeah, I'm very passive aggressive. You <laughs> should know that by now. That was also a passive aggressive way of saying that. <laughs> I think that was pretty direct. Mm. Uh, that's enough to actually get, basically get uh, a proper translation rather than more than just the gist of what he's saying. Uh, you're the second set of foreigners who've come through town today. We didn't like what the first lot wanted and sent them packing. What do you have to offer, otherwise we'll do the same. Uh, what do you mean offer? What do you want, buddy boy? I have shiny beads. Here, take, take, take my century. Take, take my beads. Work. They're magic. Um, he knocks the beans or beads out of your hand. <laughs> he knocks the bean beads. Uh, he looked expectantly at Coxix, seeing as Coxix seems to be the only person to understand him. Um, uh, I was uh, making I'll a joke. I'll relay the message to everyone else. And... Okay. What What do you uh, really think? He rests his hand uh, upon the sort of inside of his baggy clothes. And coughs. Uh oh. He's going to shoot us in the face. You can only understand him, right? You can't talk to him? Yeah, he can talk back. Okay. With that many successes, he can talk back. Um, uh, what do you what ask him? What does he want from us? What do you want from us? We want to know why you're here, uh, whether we need to worry about you disrupting uh, our operations here. and uh, We're not interested in that. What tithe you are willing to play to operate under our turf? To play, to pay. <laughs> we'll play a bit of skin off each of us for you. That doesn't have much in the way of monetary value. Uh, I don't know what they trade in the West. <laughs> We're crazy, right? I have to go to dinner though in like half an hour, so just so we know. Okay, so this will be the last yeah. episode. I. Uh. <laughs> Look at my bottle of whiskey, see how much there is left in it, and then I put it back in my pocket. <laughs> Share that. I don't think I have anything of value. No, you definitely oh. don't have anything of value. Oh. Except th the debit card from that agent we fought <laughs> in <outside 1969>. that. <laughs> um, yeah, I, was gonna, I'm gonna, I don't want to shatter your illusion. In the future, this will be worth yeah, money. In 40 years, you could use this to commit fraud. <laughs> <laughs> Assuming Christ. you can find out what his PIN number is. <laughs> Three guesses. Or get proof of identity and take it to a bag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna give you. Yeah, we used to have Jim to offer, but now Jim's gone. Until I <laughs> make him get hasty. Um, I have a can of energy drink. Maybe he wants some wheat. I have enough take wheat. This magical elixir. Does he want some weed? I have enough of it. Maybe it's uh, hard to get here. What do you say? I I, I have like an ounce of weed. Do you want it? Does Cox <laughs> translate? I guess. Yes, I translate. Fantastic. What? Wait. Why are we asking? For that? Oh, One ounce. <laughs> Not enough. Where did you get it? Who sold it to you? I, oh, I, no. I made it. <laughs> can I idea. can I tell him? Can I tell him I He's made it? He probably like runs the racket in this town, it's, you idiot. It's my no, but it's my my magic. I can make weed. I can do stuff. What are you with. telling him this? No, I'm not telling him that. He can't understand me. So fuck no. him. <laughs> but why are you saying it then? <laughs> because I maybe I can offer him my services as a weed creator yeah, in exchange for oh his cooperation. God. Say I make them supply or something. Yeah. 
This sounds like the... Yeah, and then he's going to want to take you out because he's no, the no, guy no, no. who deals it here. Coxix, oh, explain, to the, guy, the explain to the guy that I w am Spring willing to offer my services for an hour, so that's like an hour of straight converting matter to wheat. There's nothing straight about offering the services to him for yeah. an hour. <laughs> <laughs> it's not showing up. For his cooperation. Just for his cooperation. He's going to kill you. He's going to kill you to death. I'm oh, he's not. He seems like a reasonable guy. Angry. If Soriasco <laughs> shows his winning smile with that, we can totally this guy's get this a done. Criminal. Give me a sample. This is the worst. You, you idea just in the took world. an ounce. <laughs> oh, well. I will. <laughs> You'll light up then. <coughs> it's really good, right? How much can you make? I I can or make like my, like like two two kilos in an hour, I guess. All that of you come lot. with us. We'll take you to the boss. Cool. If he agrees, oh, no. if you can supply us. Every day, if you do this for us, you have free reign in the ghost market. Wow. Cool. Oh wow. Before you leave. Nice. Assuming that went way you don't make trouble. Today. <laughs> <laughs> you do. You're you're wizard. You're doing like... wizard stuff makes you very powerful. <laughs> Surely most people would be like, you know, pull the other one. In the future. <laughs> what if? Well, if what if these just guys end keep up pulling weed out of his pockets? Yeah. Like, yeah, here's more, here's more, here's, here's more, more yeah. here's more. <laughs> That's my I thing. So. What if these, <laughs> what what if if these guys end up this? as... Oh, yeah, but I'm willing. It's in the past, so in the future it won't matter anymore, I hope. What? Mm, uh, if it's the other way around, maybe. It evens, if it evens out around, a bit. It doesn't follow... Uh, what right, if you so alter are you going to follow them? History, yeah. And then they become like the leaders of China and completely change <coughs> everything that happened in China in the last 50 years. They turn into a capitalist crime. By the way, uh, can't I use like a, a, a tiny bit of coccyx blood to sprinkle it on my weed before I take a puff so I can understand and speak Chinese too? <laughs> to make it nicer. What? Uh, coccyx could try to enable somebody else to speak Chinese. Yeah. I'm the one who has to do business with these people, so it's better if if I know what they're talking about instead of your have to, uh, <laughs> again. Oh, crappy know, translations. <laughs> you could use Sabor Fienya's magic time phone to use Google Translate. It's already hey. fallen to bits, um, mate. <laughs> but yeah. they walk. Uh, yeah, so but the two of them in front, and you with the two behind. Chrome. Um, and spend sort of five minutes winding uh, through the different alleyways. Uh, until you get to probably one of the first properly rigid looking structures you've seen since you've been here. It's actually made of like, you know, bricks rather than just wood. I point at it and say it is properly rigid. <laughs> and by it, Nigger. I mean my crotch. I mean myself. I, I, I say, yeah, man, it looks solid. Hmm. That looks solid. Uh, there are two guys standing at the go at door. Uh, they are unabashedly uh, showing almost sort of cowboy style uh revolvers upon their hung upon their wrist uh hips six shooter uh no those are russian uh eight shooters Four. yeah <laughs> that's too bad that is yeah. too bad i when when i found out that the russians uh russian revolvers held eight shots i, I actually like, wow. didn't know that until you just said that uh <laughs> Not my time period. There we are, this counts as your vision now. Yeah. Your exam. I don't, think, well, I don't think it's quite... Quite close. So, wait, are we... I can't tell if... I don't know if we're in China or Russia. Are we on the border? You're on the border of China and Russia, in China. Oh, right, China. that's why people are... Some people oh, no, that's why... Uh, Russian, Russian revolvers are seven rounds, which are even weirder. Oh. Because, <laughs> like, that can't be symmetrical. Does have to be, but yeah. Yeah, but I think of a revolver as... Yeah, I like my revolver. Revolver anyway, symmetrical. So yeah, <laughs> like my women. Yeah, uh, they knock on the large metal door behind them, um, and it slowly opens up. The room on the other side is dark. Smells strongly of different sort of incenses. Every time you inhale, you get a different scent. Um, uh. Makes your sort of you feel a bit fuzzy. There can't be I that much oxygen fuzzy. in the air with so much smoke inundating the room. I'm used to um, it, so I don't have any You walk problems. through... Uh, there aren't really rooms per se, but like series of hung uh, curtains 
taking a peek through some, you basically work out that this place is run as a brothel. Sweet. Uh, <laughs> Although you guys have sunk. You, you walk through You're not here, uh, Jim. to the furthest room at the back, uh, and on a massive pile of pillows, a large, fat Chinese man, uh, massive, bushy eyebrows, uh, sits cross-legged with two women on either side of him, uh, smoking a large um, shisha pipe. <laughs> uh, and behind him uh, are a set of ceremonial sort of weapons. Uh, you can understand him? Obviously. Who have you brought to me? What do these foreigners want? Although he doesn't sound like that because he's Chinese. So imagine if prostitute. I could do a Chinese ac action. Um, the guy who's led you to these foreigners are new in town. They offer us uh, they offer us the finest hash I have ever had. Yeah. Uh, in exchange to go about their business within the ghost market. I knew Nash's character would become useful at some point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he doesn't have to make a roll. Yeah. <laughs> It's something I do naturally. Excrete hash. <laughs> Ew, <laughs> just gonna that use that works. word. <laughs> uh, so he turns to you. Okay. Odd looking one. How much <laughs> did you give me? Like, like, yeah, a kilo a day. Oh, I said two before. How long is your stay? <laughs> Um, as long as we deem necessary, it would be like it won't be more than a week. Well, I want three days up front in case you decide to bail. How does that work? How can he give you three he days? We need to stay here for three days, even if we don't need to stay no. here for three days. Yeah, he needs to pay three kilos. Oh, right. I start searching through my pockets and I already give him half a kilo up front and say I'll give him the rest uh, tonight. Mm -mm. You don't leave here until the... I have it all. Or you tell me I where I can find keep it. Keep on searching some more. I give him another half. A kilo, um, like, okay, can you roll me your wonder dice? My wonder dice? How do I do that? Uh, whatever, how many points you put into your wonder? Two. It's a level two wonder. Uh, keep rolling that until you either get six successes or a botch. So what, twos? Yeah, Just keep rolling those two dice at difficulty six. And tell me whether you get six successes total first or a botch first. We creation and roll one success. Back in a minute, just answering the phone. Cool. cool. You're not even here. Fine. <laughs> Keep going. A failure. Okay, but not a botch. Not a botch. Two successes. So that's three. So that's three. Okay. One botch. So that's two. No. Uh, um, okay. Botch. You. Uh, <laughs> something seems to go. Uh, sorry, Esco entered channel. Wrong. Oh, no, sorry, Esco. Something seems oh. to go wrong with the final half kilo uh, that you uh, produce. Uh, to your finely honed senses, sorry about it that. doesn't smell quite right. Hmm. Can I use a point of willpower? Nope. No. Nope. You already made the roll. Damn it. Um. I mean, obviously you could give it to him as is and hope that you're gone by the time he sells that stuff. Yeah, but I Kills I wouldn't feel use. good yeah. giving a giving away <laughs> bad bad. <laughs> but hash. I take pride in my work. Yeah, I wouldn't feel good. Um, so do you what you do? Can I can I He's look around? You, can I amazed. can I look around for like uh, a piece of rock that I can turn into hash? Uh, I'm deciding that the botch means that your wonder is played out for the scene. <sighs> You've sort of burnt a lot of magic through it recently. Okay, I, I give him the last half kilo, but I tell I, I tell him that. Uh, the last batch wasn't my best batch, so he gets another half kilo when this all is done. Ah, yeah, you're giving him extra. On it. That's good. That yeah. works. Very well. We have a deal. Thank you. My men will check up on you in four days if you're still around. 
and you know, we'll continue the payments. Sure, Back. no problem. Until then, you have the protection of my men. Uh, assuming you do not disrupt our business. You, you rock. No. But anyway, I have <laughs> business to attend to. And he looks to his left and to his right at the lovely ladies at his side. How did Nash and the Benny Hill music start playing? You have to watch the episode, Jim, to find uh, out how he gets, I did. Uh, well, he like, pulls from his mound of pillows uh, another a one. wonderful... Uh, what are those Chinese guitars? Uh, called? no idea. Well, one of those, and he begins to play a beautiful tune, and the ladies fawn over him. Sweet. Ooh. Right, Look at him, he's playing then, I guess. Bob Dylan. Wait a minute. <laughs> That'd be that very current. Isn't it called the Shamisan or something like that? Shamisan is Japanese. Yeah, whatever, it's Japanese, why not? <laughs> <laughs> but did he do well a in that? A Chinese person not? playing a Japanese instrument. I did, he got awesome. I was, I I was useful for once. Yeah. You got two successes, but then you got two botches. Yeah, one botch, so actually. The other one didn't well, count. Botch, I pressed again. Oh. <laughs> but he offered to give more for his lack of, yeah. which I consider is a good enough deal. Uh, it's not even need a roll to really succeed. Cause let's face it, the warlord is getting enough out of this. Yeah, he's getting more than enough. <laughs> a kilo is a lot. <laughs> a kilo is a lot of weed. Two and a half and a half not so good. Quite, quite, quite a lot. Yeah, I, um, I think I did my best for the for the cabal. keep his brothel supplied for at least a day. You know. Yeah. As if they'd use kilos in the 69. Yes, they were. Rural China. China. They did they, everywhere even except. In rural China? <laughs> yeah. Probably. Well, it's As opposed the, to anything um, else. I don't think they used the pounds of rice. Like a thousand grains of rice yeah. three times. The translate <laughs> thing is doing it as well. Yeah. You get the gist of the. Yeah. yeah. Basically, you speak in a universal language right now. Universal so what you say, they understand what he says. Yeah. You understand. <laughs> uh, skipping forward then, uh, just so you get back to the bar, because I want to leave this on a point where you're ready to do something next week when Nash has to go. How long have you got, Nash? Ten minutes. Ten minutes? Absolutely fabulous. Um, so you step inside the bar. Uh, everyone, the sort of ten or so people who are drinking in there, Perfect. do the old cowboy style uh, <laughs> stopping and looking at you. Uh, glaring at the you music stops for a few moments. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I suppose we look like really out of place and out of date walking in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not only are you, well, not only are you a set of westerners, but you're also yeah wearing modern day gear. Apart from maybe Rooker, who may well be wearing clothes from the 1960s. <laughs> 1960s China. <laughs> Howdy. Howdy. Rooker. <laughs> Yeah, is, Na is Nash with the others, or is he? Uh, yeah, Nash is with the brothel. others. He's not secreting weed yet. Then. No, no, I I <gasps> already did that. I'm not secreting oh, anything. Right. That's what the uh, weed creation was for. I thought it, it took a while. No, no, I had some in my pockets. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant when you were doing that, you really did oh. actually have some in your pockets. You weren't doing magic. Just feeding it through his bong <laughs> on the way. While yeah, rummages through. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So there you are. Uh, the barman is just, you know, cleaning dirty looking glasses. There are rows of various rice based liquors. Bye, him. Joe. And other things. Bye, Joe. Yes, it's bye, Joe. Probably, whatever. Apparently, it's <laughs> well <laughs> disgusting. Or sake. No, wait, that is Japanese. That is Japanese as well. <laughs> But it, it would probably have gone over there by that time. No. I, mean, I think had that you no. had it in the Shogun the, era. Uh, uh, you underestimate the hostility divide, to, to uh, Jap Japanese stuff in those days. Well, Japanese well, didn't want Japanese anything to do with Japan. Japan. Basically, um, Mancuri is basically a puppet state for Japan right now. Well, not, no, not in the no. 60s, it isn't. That, that, that stopped after, um, what do you call it, First, Second World War. Manchuria is part of the People's so Republic of China in 69. So it is. History, baby. <laughs> History, baby. Shaking that. I just love how we're playing a game of mage and people are still <laughs> trying to prove actual history. Hey, this needs to be, like, you know, accurately <laughs> the, uh, cited. You're right, the Chinese Civil War it's in 1949. 
Yep. It's grounded yeah. in the real world more than most RPGs are. So yeah, yeah. Nash. Yeah, mate, it God. makes sense. <laughs> Needs to be true to life. Anyway, what did you do? Let's <laughs> order some drinks and ask stuff. One set, one set, gorilla, please. Can we go Doesn't to the bar and like order some heavy spirits? And I want to set the heavy spirits and like. Oh, I want some by Joe. Us, and that's like. I thought you were gonna make a joke I don't, about I my don't. character. Uh, he asked, uh, "Have any coin?" I, I, wanting to barter. I have had shit. <laughs> I have had. Let's pay for everything. <laughs> Aren't there a load of load? Uh, yeah, really cheap. At In the price this of type of reading. environment with all these these criminals, hash is the best payment to have. I think you'd get in trouble if you were running around giving weed to everyone. <laughs> well, you're not here crash. to play for conscience. You're still watching Lee, so shh. I'm not saying conscience. I'm saying econ economics. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck economics. Did, I thought on their dossier they had a load of places they were supposed to go. Didn't they get given pretty much the same dossier as the first people who went Yeah, there? but we're following yeah. the um, advice of the English guy. Uh, I suppose. Yeah, Mr. He, that Dilly Bottom. The first. Um, goes... I can't accept that. Oh. A new coin. If I was going to sell that on my premises, I have to buy it directly from the boys. But this is um. exactly the same. They, you can just say that you bought it. No, it's not about that. <laughs> um, uh, we want something to drink and put it on Mr. Dilly Bottom's tab. <laughs> <laughs> the Westerner. Yeah, the 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 English chap. Ah. We'll You're friends of his? Back. Yeah, yeah, we are. Pay him back in 50 years. Mm -hmm. I will right. give him the result. Of, I will give him the result of a sports match. <laughs> 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 you can make all the money. Money from one of you foreign devils is good enough from any of you, really. Here are your drinks. Now, Thank what you. are you doing in my bar? Do we you know? Looking, yeah, you do the talk. Where? What is he called again? Boo or something. Boo Yin. Yeah, where, where's he at? Yo. Last That's time I saw him. my streetwise. It was this morning, he was discussing your job with his friend. What, do you know where they went off to? Outside of the door. <laughs> Did you happen to hear where they said they were going to go? Uh, something about a train. Oh, it's going fast. Oh my god. He, is uh, he a train his, robber? Or any... <laughs> any of his associates in the bar right now? Um, Make me a perception roll. Test the bar, okay. man. No, just because I. <laughs> it's going to be seven. Okay. Perception, perception difficulty seven? Yep. Okay. And two, two successes. successes. Uh, you notice basically as soon as you mentioned Bu Yin's uh, name, uh, a man at the end of the bar. Uh, Did you see what I rolled, you, by the way, for fuck's then... sake? No. Oh. <laughs> two tens. Two well, tens. Well <laughs> just trusting you. <laughs> no, but just you like. Know, sorry, I, go I, the go bar, on that, Paul. Um, basically, as soon as you. Yeah, as soon as. You say the word Buyin, one of the mans at the end of the bar uh, looks up and then tries rather poorly to pretend like he's not listening to your conversation. Huh? Okay. Sorry, Asku, Sorry, take that guy on the end of the bar. <laughs> Distract him. Okay, I grab I'll take my drink. Smack him. <laughs> and throw it in his Smash face. the bottle over his head. <laughs> this is Just... very much like the first session. <laughs> I, uh, I plunk myself down and. Um, is he got a full drink at the moment? Uh, he has uh, two thirds. Two thirds. Yeah. Okay. I... Of a double shot of this rice liquor. Bye, Joe. Bye, I... Joe. <laughs> I just like saying bye, Joe. Foul. It does I... apparently. Yeah. I tried to. Bye, Joe. I, I tried to take a sip <laughs> and purposefully um, empty the glass. No, his glass. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I. I end up just finishing the whole thing and say, oh. Please, pull out a bottle of whiskey and fill it up with my own. Um, hoping so you... to instill confusion and 
if my whiskey is better than what he was drinking, perhaps uh, start a, a budding friendship. <laughs> Roll me. Charisma. Difficulty 8. Just charisma. Just charisma. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, shit. What I about his winning the... smile? Uh, yeah, winning. If you, have you got winning smile? Uh, tick the reroll tens button. My world of darkness thing is just gone. So, one sec. Nice. Um. Thank you, Nash. Jim Jagger. Um. Oh, great! That ten made me fail. Oh well. <laughs> Sweet. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I don't okay. like that system. The fact that a ten. No, no, the ten didn't make you fail. Re -roll. Well, okay, the two ones preceding the ten. Yeah, mm. <laughs> the two ones preceding the ten made him fail. Oh, so even without the re-roll, he would have still failed. Yeah, because the three didn't take away any of his successes. Oh, yeah, I course. see. Yeah. Uh, but the 10 d is stopping it being a botch, apparently. Because it didn't well, yeah, a botch, so I guess that's the rules. It was a success, yeah. Scratch. Uh, cool, so that's good. Uh, basically, as you drink uh, his drink, he looks at you uh, with bewilderment. <laughs> and when you pour <laughs> your whiskey uh, into the glass, uh, he grabs it, puts it to his nose, smells it, frowns, uh, and basically shoves uh, the glass so the, the, all the whiskey goes over your face and beard. Oh. oh. Soaking. Lick it oil. up. Lick it up. Into your clothes. He stands up, uh, and basically when he's standing, he's about the height of you sitting. <laughs> Throws a match at you. Uh, and shoves you off of your stool. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> your winning <laughs> smile has failed you. <laughs> No, and on that note, we're ending the episode. Uh, <laughs> and on that note, uh, at least four other of the men sitting around the bar stand tall. Oh, you mean stand short?